Thank you, Dr. Nally. And welcome to all of you, and thank you for joining us for our Cancer Survivors event. I thought I'd give you a little bit of an overview about Cleveland Clinic Florida. So over the last few years, we have grown into being a regional healthcare system. Cleveland Clinic Florida now encompasses five hospitals, and you can see on this map they're outlined by the red dots. Most south is in Weston, in Broward County. We have three hospitals that were formerly Martin Health System, two of those in Stewart, in Martin County, and one in Port St. Lucie. The most northerly hospital is Cleveland Clinic Indian River, which you can see outlined with the topmost red dot. As well as the hospitals, we have a large footprint and team, 33 outpatient locations, a total of more than 1,000 hospital beds, and that takes more than 10,000 people or caregivers to look after you all and all of the patients that we look after. Our strategy and mission at Cleveland Clinic is simple. We care for life, we research for health, and we educate those who serve. We believe in our mission, and so by 2024, we want to care for more patients across your lifetimes. We want to double the number of patients that we serve because we believe we bring a high quality and type of care to our patients. But do this by staying true to our values and true to who we are as an enterprise. Let me give you a summary of some of the statistics in our Cleveland Clinic Florida region. We have more than 50,000 hospital admissions each year and almost one and a half million outpatient visits each year. Our expansion to the new hospitals has been supported by our communities and hopefully is a testament to the kind of care we're bringing in that we have grown an additional 13% over the two years since we were joined by Indian River and Martin Health System. You can see we do 15,000 inpatient surgeries and another 31,000 outpatient surgeries. So we're caring for a lot of patients with very complex care, even including organ transplantation. And at Western Hospital, almost 1,400 transplants uh, have been accomplished, and these include heart, and liver transplant with some fantastic outcomes, and even most recently, a living donor liver transplant program being opened here at our Western facility. As I mentioned, to do this and to do this complex care and look after so many people takes a large team of caregivers. We have 800 affiliated physicians and more than 600 employed physicians. Supporting our physicians, our advanced practice providers, uh, our nurse practitioners, our physician's assistants, uh, almost 400, um, and uh, 220 APPs. So we have a big team to bring care to you all. It also takes a lot of administrative support and support in many areas, but nowhere more so than with our nursing support and nursing colleagues. And you can see here that we have more than 2,000 registered nurses uh, and a large team supporting them uh, and many nurse leaders. And we have a very special team around nursing in that not only do we recruit fantastic talent, but we build careers and teach them and train them uh, and they become a critical part of our ability to provide the best care. What about the physician side of things? Our enterprise started in Cleveland 100 years ago this year. A little more than 10 years ago, we evolved, evolved from the classical departments of surgery and medicine that provide care to having institutes. And our institutes are where we have joined together medical and surgical specialists to provide the best patient-centered care. These are the institutes that we have in Florida. You can see that we have a cancer institute, and this brings together hematologists and oncologists, but also radiation oncologists and palliative care specialists. Our heart and vascular team, cardiologists, but also cardiac and thoracic surgeons, the thoracic surgeons looking after patients with lung cancer and esophageal cancer. And you can see outlined across this slide 
many of the other specialties. I'm a colorectal surgeon. I've been part of our digestive disease and surgery team for many years, and that includes colorectal surgeons. We do an awful lot of colon and rectal cancer, as you might imagine, common conditions, but also gastroenterologists looking after liver disease and many other conditions, general surgeons, and breast surgeons who looked after, um, obviously, breast cancer as well as benign breast disease. And so they were part of our Digestive Disease and Surgery Institute. Less commonly cancer, but we have orthopedics and rheumatology. We have other surgical specialties, gynecology and urology, uh, which obviously look after patients with cancer. So you can see the breadth uh, of our team, even including neuroscience uh, and neurological cancers. And so we have a talented team of specialists in many disciplines with deep expertise in certain areas to bring the most experienced care to patients with cancer because we need very individualized care when we look after certain types of cancers. I mentioned to you our mission is around caring for life, researching for health, as well as educating those who serve. This is a slide of our Florida Research and Innovation Center, which is something we're extremely proud of. Now, this is 100,000 square feet of laboratory space it has high-level biocontainment facilities, and that allows us to do research on viruses, obviously very topical at the moment with Zika virus and coronavirus and the pandemic. It allows us to collaborate with prestigious academic institutions on clinical research, but particularly to highlight the areas of research we look at. Well, I mentioned the infectious diseases, but a key part of this program is around immunobiology and cancer care because actually the way the body responds to many viruses is very similar to the way the body responds to cancers. So we have a, a cancer team working on research in our Florida Research and Innovation Center. And that teams up very nicely with our advanced clinical providers and also means that we have some very experienced and talented clinicians working here who are both clinicians but also doing the highest level uh, of research to improve always the care that we can offer to our patients. Exciting also within our Cleveland Clinic enterprise footprint is our expansion into data analytics. This is something that we've done for many, many years, uh, but we're excited now that we've announced a recent partnership with IBM. And you may have heard of quantum computing. This is really the next level in computing. Well, over the next few years, we'll be building a quantum computer on our Cleveland campus. Again, we function as an enterprise, so Florida, Cleveland, Las Vegas, London, Abu Dhabi, Canada are all parts of our enterprise. But particularly exciting is that we will have access to this quantum computer, which will allow us to do better analytics. It will allow us to do better analytics around genetics, genetics of cancer, risk factors, and ultimately provide better treatment for you, your families, your loved ones, and your communities. So this will be a long-term 10-year partnership uh, to establish a discovery accelerator, literally designed to help us accelerate how quickly we can bring new insights to care to our patients. And artificial intelligence and quantum computing will help us do that. Obviously, we also have a passion for quality and providing the highest quality of care. Here you can see many of the accolades for hospitals in the region. Uh, and whether you look at the LeapFrog Group or US News uh, or CMS ratings, our team here are outstanding. The care they provide is outstanding. And the thing I'm most excited about is we continue to improve, continue to get better, and continue to be able to recruit incredibly passionate caregivers to allow us continue us on this journey of providing the best, highest quality care to you. So thank you, Dr. Nale, again for the opportunity to provide everybody a little update on what we are doing here in Cleveland Clinic, Florida region. Again, I'm excited that this day is happening. Um, I'm excited that we have so many cancer survivors involved. And I would just encourage you all uh, to tell everybody about the wonderful teams we have here uh, so that we can help you all uh, and help our mission of trying to look after as many people as possible with cancers of any type. Thank you.